Preparations are on at the NCB office to take the three accused, Aryan Khan, Arbaz Merchant and Munmun Damecha, to the magistrate court in Mumbai. Their custody ends today. Whether the NCB seeks the more custody or they will be allowed to go into a judicial custody or they can get the bail today, it's something which uh, is not yet known to us, but uh, we'll come to know in a while. What it looks like is that 23-year-old Aryan, Aryan who was arrested in the cruise drug uh, bust case is likely to, to be produced in the magistrate court by 3 o'clock today in the afternoon. Bail plea of Aryan's close friend Arbaz and other crew passenger Munmun Dhame Cha will also come up for hearing. Uh, Aryan's counsel as well as the NCB themselves have told the court that no drugs were found on him. The NCB has claimed the crucial proof uh, of his links with the drug deals and peddlers through his WhatsApp chats. But they have not revealed that what exactly they have recovered from the WhatsApp chats. What they told the court that they have recovered some photographs and some names in the code language which they want to unearth while speaking, while uh, doing an interrogation with him. But they will have to tell the court that what have they found in last four days. Aryan has been lodged in the NCB office lockup, getting clothes from home, but food from nearby Italy. He gets to speak to his family. The leaning phone at the NCB office. After Nawab Malik, now it's Congress's time to make fresh allegations against the NCB officials. The spokesperson of the Maharashtra Congress party, Sachin Savant, has come up with the new allegations. He has said that the action should be taken against the NCB officials under Section 59 of NDPS Act involved in the raid as well as on the one who declared uh, all the rules were not followed is what uh, the Sachin Sawan, the Congress party is saying. They are saying that the NCB handbook while arresting, there are, there are a set of procedures in the NCB handbooks while arresting the accused in the raid on the cruise. It clearly suggests that the NCB did not follow the procedures as mentioned in the handbook by the NCB. Uh, Congress has quoted specific rules in the uh, uh, in the handbook uh, the congress has said on the ncb handbook on page number 69 it says that the drug law enforcement officer dleo is responsible for the safety of the arrestee and he must keep the arrestee always in the sight and the security of the arrestee was compromised when a private individual was taking selfie with him on page 70 as per the congress of the ncb handbook it says that DLEO, the, uh, the drug law enforcement officer, has to go for another work. He has to hand over the RST to another officer under written instructions of superior officer. And that is what the Congress is claiming that this handbook, the rules, the procedures of this arrest, of the raid, has not been followed by the NCB officials. So the action should be taken against the NCB officials. Divesh Singh is joined with me outside the NCB office. The fresh allegations by the Congress. The Congress claims that the handbook, the procedure of the NCB raid uh, is not followed. The NCB has some particular handbook, how to conduct raids, what needs to be done at the time of raid, how to handle the accused, which is not being followed. So the action should be taken, taken against the NCB officials. What is it that the NCB officers have told you about? Sahil, NCB officials uh, maintain their uh, statement that they made yesterday that uh, whatever action that they have taken during the raid was as per the law, as per rules, no rules were flouted and there was no illegal thing that happened. They carried out ra uh, the raid in a lawful manner. That is what they maintain, that is what the NCB has been saying. NCB's de Deputy Director General Gyaneshwar Singh uh, also stated that uh, uh, <coughs> the uh, raid was conducted in a lawful manner and this uh, statement was issued to media last evening uh, as in the afternoon Nawab Malik from the NCB made allegations regarding uh, two private persons involvement while with the NCB uh, who were also seen uh, taking some of the accused to the NCB office holding them and taking them to the NCB office. Sahil? <laughs>
Okay, okay. Let's first uh, take a look at what are exactly the allegations against the accused uh, in this particular case. My colleague Akshita Nanda Gopal tells us about the NCB charges against Aryan Khan, Arbaz Merchant and the other accused in this case. देखिये नवाब मलिक जी का दर्द ही कुछ और है एन सी बी ने उनके डायरेक्ट रिलेटिव को ड्रग्स के मामले में अरेस्ट किया है तब से लगातार एन सी बी के खिलाफ वे आग उगलते हैं और इस प्रकार के बयान देते हैं सवाल ये नहीं है कि वहां कौन उपस्थित था या कौन नहीं था वो बीजेपी के थे नहीं थे ये सवाल गौड़ है सवाल ये है क्या ड्रग्स की पार्टी चल रही थी और अगर चल रही थी तो क्या उसका समर्थन नवाब मलिक करते मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि किसी के इशारे पर नवाब मलिक इसको मोड़ने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं लेकिन जो सच है वो सच बाहर आएगा सम एलिगेशन लेवल अगेंस्ट दर्गेनाइजेशन आर बेसलेस एंड सीम टू है विद मेलाइस एंड प्रोबेबल प्री जुडेस दैट मे हैव बीन हार्बर्ड इन रिटेलिएशन अगेंस्ट अर्लियर लीगल एक्शन कैरिड आउट बाई एन सी बी एन सी बी रीट्रेट्स दैट इट्स प्रोसीजर हैज बीन एंड विल कॉन्टिन्यू टू बी प्रोफेशनली एंड लीगली ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड अनबायस आज अगर एन सी बी के अधिकारी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस लेके कहते हैं कि प्रिजुडिस मानसिकता से हो रहा है जवाब चाहिए तो न्यायालय में जाओ क्या अधिकारी भी भारतीय जनता पार्टी की भाषा बोल रहे हैं हर सवाल पर बीजेपी कहती है कि न्यायालय में जाओ सवाल यह है कि फर्जीवाड़ा हुआ है बीजेपी के पदाधिकारी लोगों को गिरफ्तार करते नजर आए हैं इसका जवाब देने के बजाय आए बाएं घूमना ये ठीक नहीं है so allegations after allegations against the ncb the way the ncb conducted raids and the people accompanying ncb during the raids will all this come up during today's hearing in the court because in short time in a while three accused aryan khan arbaz merchant and munmun dhamecha will be taken to the mumbai's kela court the preparations at ncb office are already on i'm joined by my colleague vidya from the kela court vidya arbaz merchant has already filed uh, A, a bail petition, which is kept in abeyance at this point of time, because he will be produced in the court. The first, uh, we'll have to see whether the NCB asks for more custody or they will allow him to go for the judicial custody or not. But what are the allegations now? Arbaz is trying to make against the NCB officials, and will all this? What N Nawab Malik said yesterday, Sachin Sawant is saying today, and Arbaz Merchant, uh, lawyer, has alleged, will come up during the hearing. Uh, well, Arbaz's uh, lawyer has very categorically said that uh, you know this entire uh, incident that has been shown that on the terminal of the cruise, uh, this is where at the instance of merchant, where merchant when he was intercepted, merchant himself said that it was in his shoes that uh, the drug was placed and that it was at his instance that this entire drug was caught. Uh, that is totally false. Is something that merchant's lawyers have said in the bail plea and have also filed another application asking for CCTV footage of that particular area to be one called for by the court and secondly to be preserved so that in case it goes for trial, this entire case for, goes for trial, then it will be useful there. So th they are very clear that the CCTV footage will probably show how this entire case has been planted, and that's the reason why the CCTV footage of that cruise terminal is extremely important. Secondly, remember there have been two for fresh arrests. One of the arrests that has been made is that of apparently who is supposed someone who is supposed to be Aryan's friend. Uh, from whose house there have been certain amount of uh, drug that has been found, according to the, some of the people who are associated with this case. So certainly, will that reflect on Aryan as well? And will for that custody, uh, you know, uh, will Aryan's custody also be sought? So there are various other uh, reasons why NCB feels that there could be, uh, you know, they would be asking for Aryan's custody, further extension of Aryan's custody, and they would also be seeking custody of the other fresh accused who have. been arrested in this case lately
Well, uh, Vidya, stay on with me because first let's take a look at what exactly are the charges against each of the accused. Because uh, earlier when the NCB came up uh, with a press release, they have shown that whatever has been recovered from the ship has been recovered from all the accused. When the magistrate specifically asked that what has been recovered from each of the accused, then the NCB officials tell uh, the magistrate that nothing was recovered from Aryan, but uh, six grams of charas was recovered from Arbaz and now Arbaz is also contesting that and seeking CCTV footage from the crew so that uh, things will be clear. But let's first look at what are the charges against individual accused in this particular case. My colleague Akshita Nanda Gopal had uh, analyzed that. Let's take a look at that first. Now, in court, it was established that Aryan Khan didn't have drugs in his possession when that bust happened on board a cruise ship. So what exactly are the charges then against Aryan, according to the NCB? Now, in the court hearing last time, they said that they found incriminating WhatsApp messages on Aryan Khan's phone. Now, what were these messages? According to the NCB, there were pictures as well as texts, as well as messages on Aryan's phone with regards to drug deals. The NCB also went on to highlight that there were discussions on modes of payment to procure drugs and they maintain that in some cases it was drugs in bulk that was being procured. Also, they say that some court messages were used between Aryan, his friends and alleged drug suppliers uh, in text messages. And the NCB last time in the hearing had said they need extension of custody to decode exactly what it was. Let's also tell you about the seizures that were made by the NCB when they conducted the raids on board the cruise ship. 13 grams of cocaine was found. Also, the NCB, the Narcotics Control Bureau, found mephodrome and 5 grams of this was seized on board the cruise ship. Besides that, also charas, 21 grams of charas was found by the NCB and finally ecstasy pills, about 22 pills were taken in by the Narcotics Control Bureau. So far, if you look at this case, about 15 arrests have taken place. The most high profile, of course, is that of Shah Rukh Khan's son, Aryan Khan. Besides that, Arbaz Merchant, a very close friend of Aryan Khan, has also been taken into custody. Moon Moon Dhamecha, a socialite, was taken, uh, was arrested, in fact, from on board the cruise ship as well. You have some other names. Shreyas Nair, a day later, was arrested, an alleged drug supplier linked to Aryan. Nupur Satija is another name, as well as Mohak Jaiswal. These were people who were rounded up from on board the cruise ship. Gomit Chopra is another uh, very popular, prominent Mumbai crew who was taken into custody. Vikrant Chokar, also from on board the cruise ship, was arrested. So these are some of the names after which the NCB has also arrested arrested several other alleged drug suppliers and peddlers. Well, the preparation at the NCB office are already on. The CISF officials have reached the NCB office. The three of the accused, Aryan Khan, Arbaz Merchant and Munmun Dhabecha, in short time in a while will be taken to the magistrate court in Mumbai. Whether the NCB seeks for more custody or will they be sent to the judicial custody and after that, three of the accused Will they be released on the bail? It's something we will come to know today. But the preparations are already on. Let's go back to Divesh, who is at the NCB office. NC, uh, Divesh, what are you seeing there right now? Uh, will they be taken out anytime soon? Or uh, what is the what, what is the reason that the it's taking time at this point of time? Uh, Sahil, uh, the escort vehicles from Mumbai Police, which usually escort uh, the NCB vehicles to the court and back are already over here. Uh, I'll ask my camera person to zoom in and show that this is the pilot vehicle behind me. So the preparations uh, by the security officials, by police officials are already complete and uh, uh, it's any moment now that the accused will be brought downstairs and then will be taken to court where they'll be produced at the Metropolitan Magistrates Court in Mumbai at the Esplanade Court. So uh, it is uh, the Narcotics Control Bureau which will further, uh, if, if they have found some new evidence, they could seek further custody of the accused involved, including Aryan Khan, Arvaz Merchant and Munmun Damecha. Uh, but if it is not there, they, they don't think that any more custody is required they will allow the uh, accused to go in judicial custody, uh, after which the accused persons can move for bail. Uh, Arbal Merchant has already filed a bail plea, but uh, uh, there, we haven't heard of any bail plea being moved by Aryan Khan or Munmun Damecha. So it is uh, any moment now that uh, NCB officials could uh, 
days before, uh, NCB officials had called before. the people who arranged this particular event. They were arrested later on. Now, NCB Delhi has also summoned two people from the event management company and they have to appear by Saturday is what uh, we are hearing at this point of time. Is it related to the same case or the NCB is opening up a new front in Delhi to investigate because uh, please understand most of the people NCB has arrested in this case are not from Mumbai, they are from Delhi. Even the first eight arrests made in this case except Aryan Khan and Arbaz Merchant, the six of the people belong to the NCR region. So is there something, another racket which is going on in Delhi and which the NCB wants to unearth and have they opened uh, another front in this particular case? Total 18 arrests is what we are hearing. Is that correct, Divesh? See, as of now, Sahil, there are a total of 18 arrests which it also includes a Nigerian national who was apprehended from Bandra last evening. Uh, there is one Anchit Kumar who was arrested, who was uh, arrested uh, a day before that. Uh, while uh, his name came up uh, in interrogation of some of the accused and uh, before that four persons from the event management company namaskre were arrested by ncb so there are a lot there are others uh, who from the management company who are under scanner who remain under investigation and it could be that ncb officials from mumbai have sought help of their counterparts from delhi to record the statement of the accused who are in delhi who are presently in delhi uh, and uh, they would have been summoned by delhi ncb to record their statements with the narcotics control bureau and once the statements are recorded for the course of action could be decided whether they could be booked they could be arrested or not whether their role is there or not but as of now uh, ncb officials uh, here in mumbai also have summoned a lot of people uh, and uh, are investigating the event managers the event organizers as well uh, in the cruise drug bus case that has led to arrest of at least 18 people as of now and as as uh, said by uh, the ncb zonal director samir wankede there could be much um, many more arrests that that will happen in this case as interrogation of accused is going on and new names are coming up every day uh, while the interrogation is being carried out. So, the well, Divish, data uh, is Divish, uh, we the heard list. the NCB officials telling the court day before yesterday when the magistrate specifically asked that whose information you got from which accused. They took Mohit's name, uh, they, uh, they also took uh, Ishmit's name uh, about uh, the peddlers who were arrested later. What have they found with Aryan? Aryan and Arbaz Merchant. That is something which still remains to be a mystery. Both these people from Mumbai were arrested even before entering the cruise terminal. The NCB had claimed that they want to understand whatever they have recovered from their mobile phones, their WhatsApp chats. There was a recovery from Arbaz Merchant. There was a claim by NCB that uh, some of the raids conducted are because uh, Arbaz Merchant gave them some kind of a clue. And today they are claiming that there, is, there can be an international racket. That is how the Nigerian national has been arrested. Will all this be taken to the court today? Will all this be presented in the court today while arguing? Because it looks like they are waiting for additional solicitor general to get free from the Anil Deshmukh case so that he can also appear for the NCB uh, custody today. Oh, yeah, Sahil, see, uh, uh, the evidence that the NCB has collected will be produced in front of the court. They had already pointed it out to the court that they have retrieved some chat messages from Aryan Khan's phone which uh, suggest that he had uh, been part of a drug procurement deal. He had, uh, uh, he had spoken about consumption of drugs and there were some suspicious transactions uh, which uh, there were some chats uh, and some communication that had happened overseas as well. And that is why NCB had pointed out or hinted at uh, a foreign angle, uh, international links to some uh, foreign syndicate uh, that was being investigated by the NCB. Uh, it remains under investigation. What kind of evidence has been found or has been discovered that will be informed in the court by NCB. Uh, depending on that, the further course of action will be decided uh, by Narcotics Central Bureau whether they will seek extension of the three accused custody uh, who are the first to be arrested in this case and then uh, if evidence is not found then uh, they could be sent to judicial custody after which the bail hearings on the accused uh, whoever has moved for bail could happen.
साहिल वेल दुबेश कीप शोइंग अस दोस विजुअल्स बिकॉज एनी टाइम फ्रॉम नाउ Aryan Khan Arbath Merchant and Munmun will be taken to the magistrate court where Vidya is at this point of time Vidya there are two quick questions the first question what is going to be the defense strategy Arbath Merchant has already filed a bail application he has already made some allegations against the NCB he is saying that uh, the confiscation happened uh, from him the 6 grams of charas is a fake uh, a fake uh, uh, confiscation uh, the CCTV footage should be checked by uh, the court is what uh, he has alleged in the bail application on the other hand uh aryan khan's lawyer are completely quiet satish mane shinde who is representing aryan khan what can be his strategy do you think that today he will reveal what exactly transpired between behind the scenes and how aryan and arbaz reached uh, uh, at, at at that particular terminal without having a ticket without having a boarding pass without uh, even uh, registering for uh, this particular event Uh, well they have been saying very categorically that they were the not the ones who had paid to visit they were in fact the invitees they had been invited by the organizers and they had they had gone there not as part of any scheme uh, along with as as is being portrayed that this is a part of a larger conspiracy wherein whole lot of uh, the number of people gathered together to uh, you know uh, sell buy and sell uh, drugs uh, they are very clear the defense especially uh, is very clear that even if the drug is found say for example merchant's lawyer tarik sayed very clearly told the court that even if he is found in possession of the drug though it is not true that he was found in possession of drug but even if it is then it is uh, only about 6 grams mg which is actually consumable quantity and at the the maximum punishment for that would be 1 year at the maximum and that is one of the reasons why they are harping on the fact that the, the entire offense against all these accused are available and that's why not just aryan who was not found in a possession of any drug even merchant who was found with consumable quantity of the drug should be let off they are bailable uh, offenses most accused in this in these kind of cases get bail at the first first instance itself and that's the reason why they have been saying that the entire conspiracy the fact that they have to be confronted with the organizers that entire yes. issue that the ncb is trying to portray that it is a part of a bigger syndicate a bigger international gang racket that is not true and that's something that they will be harping on today as well well vidya i know you have to go inside the court yes last time when you had gone inside the court it was a packed uh, court room and uh, it was very difficult for a journalist to get inside to hear actually what is happening inside the court so i understand you have to go inside the court we are also slipping into a short break the preparations are on already at the ncb office to take the three accused uh, to the magistrate court where the divesh is at this point of time we'll continue with this coverage let's take a short break on the other side of the break we'll continue with the same coverage stay tuned with us